What up YouTube, this is my All-American Life, and I think for the time that I'm abroad, I'm going to be calling these the Oki Abroad Vlog. I think it's kind of catchy, but you probably won't, but who cares, it's my video. So that being said, I just arrived in Edinburgh, Scotland at the hostel. I can't check in just yet, but they let me drop off my bags, and I'm just chilling for a little bit until I decide which direction I'm going to go. I think I'm going to go get some breakfast first. but. Uh, you wouldn't believe the view I have right now. Let me just share a little bit with you. The hostel I'm staying at is just at the base of the castle. So, you can just see it through here. I don't know if I can make it out, but there it is. We'll be going to that tomorrow on Tuesday. Um, but for now, we're just might just wander around the city for a little bit. You have to schedule that, and I scheduled it for tomorrow to make sure that I'd have enough time to be able to do it all. So, uh, let's go get something to eat. So I just had breakfast at the Scran. Scran was the bistro, breakfast, cafe, whatever, that the hostel person um, that was at the counter actually suggested to me when I asked. The Scottish breakfast is pretty good. I'd say it's it's pretty much just like the English breakfast, except the difference would probably be that had bread instead of toast. I really don't know what the exact differences are supposed to be, but the black pudding on that, I actually did enjoy. That was really, really, really good. Um, honestly, I, that place was, it was incredible. I paid basically 12 pounds. It was like 11 pound, uh, 95. I gave the lady 12 pounds. She kept my, she kept my, uh, five, uh, I guess it'd be like a nickel in the U.S. Early five pence. She get my five pence, but uh, yeah, it's a pretty good breakfast. That being said, I'm in a graveyard, and not just any graveyard, but the kirkyard. Well, that down there, ways down there, there's a little tiny dog that sat on his owner's grave for like 14 or 15 years. Dog only lived to be 16, so. I guess you only had one year to make a, a bond and it lasted, didn't it? But the Kirkyard I'm at is supposedly the location where um, the woman who wrote the Harry Potter books took a lot of inspiration from. It's kind of morbid, but memento mori, I guess. But I'm, these, uh, there's these little outbuildings right here that kind of remind me of what the Romans did with their dead. I don't know exactly what these, if these are supposed to be crypts or what. Some of them do have clearly marked graves inside of them. Um, but you can just like walk inside of them, which I kind of find odd. The thing about it is, is that the, I know that the Romans did something similar like this. I don't know if they just mimicked it, but the Romans used to have like buildings where you go visit your, your loved ones, like in the actual crypts this way. But it's kind of cool. Uh, I like the memento mori. Remember we must die, is what that is. Or something along the lines of, remember, remember I die, or remember I must die. It's really like a solid reminder of it all, I guess. But, show you around. There's these, these things line up all the way down. And all the way up. Some have got inscriptions on them, most of them got inscriptions that are wore off. Really couldn't tell you what that says. Something of angrily, I think. I don't know, but it's pretty cool. Supposedly, this is a place where uh, the woman who wrote all the Harry Potter books would just sit, take inspiration, and somewhere in here we can probably find a Tom Riddle. I think is what. There's like two names that are in the book that she basically uh, found on a gravestone, and I guess, and decided that it was perfect for her story. But I'm sure the, the guy that was Tom Riddle buried here, 
gets a lot of visits to his grave because of that. Uh, probably not for the best, but I guess I guess you live forever this way. Everybody will remember you. But it is what it is. And as long as you're here at the Greyfriars Kirkyard, you can always sit here and actually see the castle in the background um, as you just walk around the tombs and take in the beautiful church. And there's plenty of old buildings around it to look at, but you're always reminded by the fact that that castle's there. Pretty much anywhere there's a clear view that direction. Um, but yeah, over there in the corner, of course, like I said, was that, that dog, that Greyfriars, Bobby, I guess Greyfriars is just a church, but. They sure got a lot of skull and crossbones here. I think they're kind of obsessed with it, but there you go. You're always reminded by the fact there's the, church, the castle in the background. And of course, we know the other name that she got inspiration from for the books is McGonagall. Uh, believe it or not, I don't know if this is the right one, but there's a man here named William McGonagall that I'm fairly certain, I think, not sure actually, I really shouldn't be saying I'm certain. It's, that's where she got the inspiration from. But there was two names, Tom Riddle, McGonagall. And here's the one the McGonagall that I actually found. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see it. It's a tiny little plaque in the corner. Um, if you don't know what to look for, you probably would never find it actually. But some guy that was a poet and a Tragedian, whatever the heck that means. I guess we'll have to Google search that one. Now, right about now, you might actually be asking yourself, why the hell is he walking through a graveyard? Um, we're on a budget, folks, and this is free. And it's kind of cool, really. I don't know, really know the history of it, but just to know, kind of like the J.K. Rowling uh, story, the, the, to be able to see some of these old tombs and graves. And, you know, in, st in the States, you might see a grave that's 150 years old, but anything older than that, it's really, at least in Oklahoma, it's kind of pretty, pretty freaking old. So, got a lot of cool architecture around here. It's just, it's cool to come spend an hour and basically walk the, walk the streets of inspiration for J.K. Rowling. So, there you have it. I've just been resting up for a bit. Um, walked around the Royal Mile a little bit, seen the owl, a couple of owls actually. Then I seen a, um, a bagpiper, which you can probably still hear. Excuse me. And then what I wind up doing is going back, checking into my hostel finally, after I had picked up a few um, postcards, which I'm fixing to go send now, and then go pick up some groceries for tonight. So just to wrap up the day and kind of explain what I did, I went down to Sainsbury's, which if you're not from the UK or never been to the UK, that's like the local grocery store. They have Sainsbury Locals, which is basically 
the store on a smaller version. It's like going to a mini mart in the United States, I guess. But um, what I did, went down there and got me some food. And you know, some people say it's a rip off. I didn't think it was a rip off. You get these kind of meal deals where it's like a sandwich, a snack, and a drink. Sometimes for like five pounds, sometimes for like three fifty, depending on the what the food you get. I just went and got a sandwich and a snack, which was like a sausage in a blanket, and a um, a peach tea for three pound fifty. So I don't think it was that big of a deal. And then on top of that, I got something called Scotch eggs, which are like these like uh, boiled eggs that are covered in like a meat coating and a bread coating. And cold, they're not good. I'd rate them at like a two. Warm, they're like rated at like a. They gotta be at least a seven. They're pretty good actually, I think. Um, and then after that, I think I think they were like around a pound, or like a pound fifty. So literally for around five pounds or six pounds, I'll go ahead and put it up here as I'm saying it, I guess. Um, exactly how much I spent for dinner, but oh my god, I spent so little money to eat, and I think I'm gonna continue doing that most days. Um, and then I went back to the hostel where I met a guy, and he was able to explain some editing. This guy's like got like 71,000 subscribers and a crap load of videos. He's actually from Turkey and very inspirational guy. I think I think that uh, uh, I'll take what he said to heart and implement some of these YouTube videos and maybe, maybe, just maybe they might reach his quality someday. Maybe it might be by the time I get to Vietnam, you know, the very in, in country that, that it'll be of good quality. But, you know, the evening was really chill, sat in the common room and basically decided that I was going to uh, uh, eat and sit and visit and meet new people. And after I'd walked up the, the Royal Mile, which was all right, I got to hold an owl today and, and I got to uh, listen to some bagpipes. And tomorrow, this is what we're doing. Tomorrow, I'm going to come up here and bright and early in the morning, well, bright and early is 9.30, which is really about the time everything wakes up here. Uh, it's the first entry to get into the castle and I'm gonna do it. And I don't know if, if uh, how much I'll film in there, if they'll allow filming, but I hope to be able to show a little bit of it to y'all. Uh, good night.